Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a thrift lift video where I take items that I have recently thrifted and upcycle them to more my style. Now, if you are new to my channel and you really like what you see in the background, then we probably have the same style and you are going to enjoy today's video. So let's get started on these projects. Garage sales and thrift stores are full of purses and I always go check them out, not for the purse itself, but for the handles on the purse. I really like the handles on this particular purse. I just cut the purse off and I added antiquing wax to the handles to darken it up and make it more my style. Then I cut two pieces of drop cloth to the size that I need it. Now the great thing about making stuff yourself is you can make it to whatever size you need. I had purchased these beautiful long floral dogwood stems from Walmart and I wanted to make a custom bag to put them in. I high glue the edges of the drop cloth together and then I turned it inside out. I always cut off all the hems of my drop cloth because they are perfect to use for projects here and there. So that is what I'm using to attach my bag to the wooden handles. And that is it. This project was quick and simple and looks like something that you would purchase from a very high end store. I absolutely love the way that this custom little bag turned out. And I decided to keep it simple, but you could definitely add some stamps or some transfers. But I just thought with the addition of the floral, it was absolutely perfect in my foyer. I purchased these lattice frames from the thrift store. However, they originally came from Hobby Lobby and I decided I wanted them to be white, which I immediately regretted. I thought I could just spray paint them, but because of the material they are made out of, the spray paint would not stick to the piece. But once I had put a little bit of paint on there, I could not go back. So I ended up having to paint this entire piece by hand. Actually, I ended up having to paint all three pieces by hand because I wanted them to all be a matching set. So I'll put two coats of the Country Chic paint in the color crinoline on all three pieces. Then I went back and lightly distressed it. On the inside of the frame, I wanted to add a little bit of texture. So I cut out a piece of drop cloth to the size that I needed and I am just hot gluing it inside of the frame. I thrifted this set of paper coasters with these beautiful bird images on it. And this is the artwork that I want to attach to my lattice frames. I'm going to attach a black clip to the coaster and then I'm going to hot glue just the clip to the frame. I like to attach my artwork and then attach the clip after. That way I can just make sure that the clip is exactly where I need it to be for my artwork to be at the center of my picture. I use these black clips all the time on my projects and I'll make sure to have them linked below. All right, I wanna show y'all another project really quick using drop cloth as a background. I always pick up these wooden signs that already have the wood frame around it. All you have to do is hot glue a piece of drop cloth on the inside. It is so much quicker and so much easier than trying to paint the inside of these pieces of artwork. And then hot glue your black clip to the background and it is ready for your artwork or your pictures. If you watch my channel, then you know I absolutely love IOD's typesetting stamp. It is just a perfect stamp to add any customization or embellishment to any project. And I wanted to embellish this plain pillowcase that I had in my recent living room makeover video. So I just place 
the stamps on my pillow in the arrangement that I wanted. Then I took IOD's thin mount, picked up the stamps, you turn them over and then you ink them up. I am using IOD's ink in the color China Blue and then once your stamp is inked up, you just wanna turn it over and apply it to your piece and you just want to lightly press on your stamps to help the ink adhere i actually use a brayer and just rolled it across the top i absolutely love the vintage look and feel when you stamp a surface no two pieces are exactly alike there's always a little bit of imperfections and that's what i love about stamping and i like the way that this pillow came out so much i ended up doing one with black ink for my master bedroom I have an entire box of these beautiful piano rolls. I absolutely love these things and I think they make the most beautiful special artwork for your homes. So I wanna try to figure out how to make an adjustable hanger for these pieces. This is a one by four piece of common board that I cut down to 16 inches. You want two of these, one for the top of the piano roll and one that's gonna be for the bottom. The first thing I'm gonna do is just put a sawtooth hanger on the back. I'm doing this first because I'm gonna be adding stuff to the front of the boards and I don't wanna have to turn it over and hammer this on after it's done. So I'm gonna do this step first. Next, I cut two smaller pieces about one and a half inches wide. And one of those pieces, I want to round out the edges just to help the process along. I'm gonna use my jigsaw just to cut a piece off the size. Um, this isn't necessary, but I just think it looks a little bit better to have these pieces rounded off. I am going to cut this piece in half when I'm done, but I want to round out the edges first because it's just easier to hold it right now. Um, now that it's a little bit longer, when I cut it in half, it's going to be much smaller and much harder to handle. Once my little piece is all rounded out, then as you can see, I just cut it right in half. Now I'm gonna take those two pieces and I am going to just put a mark at the top and the center of it. I'm just using this little piece of wood to just make sure it's kinda in the same spot on both my pieces of wood. And then I'm gonna take that piece of wood that I did not cut in half and I am just going to eyeball and mark the center of that piece. Now I have two different size dowel rods I'm going to use. One is a bigger one that is going to fit on the ends of my roll. So the hole in the roll does not go all the way through. So I just want a piece on the ends to attach it to and then a smaller piece to attach the bottom of the roll on my bottom piece of wood. I'm going to drill holes in the pieces that the dial rods are going into and all you need to do to find the right size drill bit to do this is you just hold up your dial rod to the end of the drill bit and that is the one that you should use. The tape that is on the drill bits is just so I know how far down I need to drill. Now I have never made this before so I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. Like I said I have an entire roll of these piano boxes and I would really like to sell them on my website as a piece of artwork. So I'm trying to figure out a way to make an adjustable piece that you could hang on your wall and then roll the piano roll down as you know as big or as small as you want it to be on your wall. So there may be different ways to do this and there may be better ways to do this, but I am just figuring out this for the first time, just creating something that I have in my head and how I want this to look and how I want it to function. The piece that I'm currently working on is the bottom piece that is gonna hold the bottom part of the piano. I'm trying not to have any nail holes showing, so I'm gonna glue the pieces on, let the glue dry for a few minutes, then I'm gonna come back and put some nails through the back of the piece. Now this is a top piece that I'm working on and the roll is going to have to be attached because there's no way to go back and add it in after. So I'm just trying to figure out the center and like I said, I'm gonna glue my two side pieces in place. I'm gonna let the glue dry and then I'm gonna turn it over and just add some finishing nails 
to the back. Like I said, I am figuring this out as I go and I forgot that I need to paint this piece. So I need to do that before I attach the piano roll because it would be really hard to paint around it. So I'm gonna take off one of the pieces that was keeping the piano roll on. I'm gonna clean up all the glue and then I'm going to add a antiquing wax and water mixture to the raw wood. You could also paint it a color if you want it. Once the paint is all dry, I'm going to attach this piece and the piano roll back together and then it will be ready to hang on the wall and I'll be able to see if my idea has worked. All right guys, I need y'all to help me troubleshoot this idea. It is looking the way that I want it to look. There's the bottom that holds the bottom in place and there's the top and it's adjustable so people can pick, you know, how long or how short they want this artwork to be. But the problem is, is that it is adjustable. So right now I have it taped up in place at the length I want it to be, but this is a problem. When I take the tape off, then it just starts to unroll. So how do I get this to be adjustable but also stay in place once the customer has picked the length because, you know, I don't want them to have to tape it up. So I, I don't know. Y'all give me your ideas, leave a comment down below and let me know what y'all think. I do love the way it looks though. I really hope that y'all enjoyed the projects in today's video. Do not forget to leave a comment below and let me know what was your favorite project. Y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all in next week's video. Mm -hmm.